start. This is the mailbox. Mountains over there. Whole load of mountains over there. And we're in between. This is the driveway. We go from that stop sign down to that phone pole it looks like right there. There's three and a half. There's our only big cactus we got, which it looks like it's budding. And it is. I'll tell you how tall it is. That's our driveway. That's the itty bitty desert house. That's the neighbor in his junk pile. Yes, we do lock up at night. I don't want nobody stealing my motorcycles. There's the front of the house. I guess you'd call it the back. Because technically, that mailbox ain't supposed to be on that road. But There's our clothesline. There's a big mountain. I'll take you in the house. We're still trying to get situated. This is my screen door. There's my puppy, chilling. There's the kitchen. Stove, refrigerator. We just got that. It's our table. There's our bedroom. There's a big walk-in closet. There's a little nana. Ask me what I'm doing. Here's the front room. We'll cover that window up because the sun comes in there. Same with this one. It just burns you. There's the blinds we're going to put up. Here's our table again. There's the kitchen again. And there's a bedroom. I forgot to turn that off. Here's the extra bedroom. We don't come in here, that's why I got that little door alarm on it. There's the attic. Here's the bathroom. And it looks like our sunshade thing fell out. That's the shower. This is our back door. This is the side of the house, technically. That's our walkway out to the thing with Bob. This is our laundry room. There's a hot water tank. Everything's outside. And here's the front of the house, which is technically the back. A little sidewalk. Somebody put a fence all the way around it. But there's the front of it. The ACs are on top of the house out here. Because hot air rises, I guess. And that's our water. Our well water stuff bladder and all of that. And there's the clothesline again. There's the barn. It's got an apartment inside there. Aaron's going to be moving out here and we're going to put some windows in it. Fix it up. 
<clears throat> so he can stay out. There's my truck. <laughs> and here's the barn. It's pretty huge. It's got sliding doors on either end. My four wheelers. There's an extra room. We're gonna make this part of the apartment. And there's my little awning so the pigeons don't shit on my street bike, which is underneath all that. And I got some fence rail for horses and Oh, got to show you this. This is my solar stuff. I just started messing with it. I got three big panels. And right now, I can run the garage light off of a battery, which I think is pretty cool. And... Go outside again, there's Steve's dirt bike I'm working on. Steve's truck that he left. There's the solar panel. I don't know if you can see it or not. And there's Steve's truck. It's pretty nice. You ain't got no grass out here unless you water it like crazy. Haven't found those snakes yet. Found two scorpions. There's the barn. There's the house again. Over here, we got another little cactus, kind of. That one right there. And that little tree thing. Don't touch those, that's a jumping, jumping cactus. They're badass. There's another jumping cactus. It looks like it's dead, but don't let it fool you. And there's the side of the barn. There's another type of cactus. That sucker's got needles on it. Three quarters of an inch long. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> The strongest steel. I won't hurt myself. I can't break it. We got another little barrel cactus out here, which I can't. It's right underneath that tree. There's three of them. Thought I heard something for a minute. Don't want to run into rattler. And our property goes over to the those fence poles right there. And I need to put the fence up. There's an old countertop somebody left here. Oh, I thought it said I seen the uh, uh, scorpions. One I caught. He's about four or five inches with his tail laid out. He was a monster. The other one, the same day, the dog started running across the floor, and I looked down, and they had a, it was only about like an inch and a half long scorpion, and uh, the dog was getting ready to grab it or something. They was getting ready to get stung. Dogs will be okay. People, or dogs can die from it. Um, people. It's like a bee sting and it goes away after two or three days. They say it really hurts though. I don't want to find out. So that's the tour guys. Aaron, if you're watching. Home sweet home brother.